the Nittany Lions. 18 seniors, including two fellas who are injured and no longer dressed, were introduced a short time ago, and the entire team files onto the field with the Nittany Lions now stalking big game as they climb to second in the Big Ten. One thing sure, we're going to see a great duel. Curtis Enos carried the ball 37 times against Purdue, scored four touchdowns, three of them rushing. But Ron Dane, 270 pounds of running back, ready to go for the Wisconsin Badgers. For 11 years, a member of the Collins family has played for Coach Paterno. Today, two are introduced, and that will end the era. The kickoff is coming up. Chris Amberley and Kenny Watson back deep. Coming out, it's Watson. Way short of the 20-yard line. We check him with a third. Up under center for the Nittany Lions and the first offensive play of the game. Enos in that tailback spot gets his first call of the day, and he is swarmed on by the Badgers. Tom Burke, 74, coming off a strong game. Our Chili's starting lineup for the Nittany Lions. Second down and nine. They offset. That's power to the left, and it's Enos running in that direction, sprinting free. Enos for a first down, plus... Big yardage for Curtis Enos. Finally out of bounds at the 40-yard line. Lamar Campbell, the cornerback, but a gain of 22 yards. They're their offensive coordinator. Great block there by Cleary on the outside field. Gets in the way of the defensive back, Brown, and great. And the Badgers with a six-man front of the two backers well off the line. McCreary, plenty of time. Feasts off the middle. Good job. And outs. They're going to go helmet to helmet all game long. And here comes Fumble. Say they've got it. Wisconsin recovers the fumble, making the recovery of the Enos fumble. This happened to Penn State last week against Purdue, an exchange the quarterback who starts in motion, power showing to the left, and they run the big fella, Ron Dane, four yards for the Badgers. After the turnover, Dane pounds free inside the 30-yard line. For a delay, Dane can't be stopped. And perhaps that is a smallish offensive line or defensive line being manhandled right now. And Brandon Short. Two stars here. Compare Dane averaging 5.9 yards a carry with 15 touchdowns and Enos 5.7 with 16 but the critical difference here so far is that Enos has fumbled and Dane and the Badgers are on a roll and Martin the fullback he's the big man for Dane Dane still running free sticks his helmet down and Samuel gonna throw for the first time receiver covered Shakes off the first hit and goes down. Could not come free as Courtney Brown out of Alvin, South Carolina, ate him up. This is real good pass protection to begin with for Samuel, but you got to think that that's great uh, coverage in the secondary because it took Courtney Brown a bit to get to Samuel, but that sack forces a rather long Marshall field. Will put the ball down. And good. So the turnover results in three Wisconsin points and as a result the Badger back to return this kickoff fielded at the one by Watson again and Watson slides through and slashes his way fumble the Badgers say they've got it again they do have it he's going to be furious about this and justifiably so inside the 25 yard line and he saddles up the big one and Whacked again, Brandon Short among those coming across. Number 43 has been very active. Samuel and the Badgers. Hayes steps in motion. Samuel slips a bit, regains it, fires a hit, and Simmons took a lick from Prater. Oh, did she know Prater unload on him? The Nittany Lion corners press at the top and bottom of your screen. Samuel gonna throw it away. Everybody was covered. Both looking for daylight, trying to get in any way he can. Wax this one over to the right side. No good. And this time, 
the Nittany Lions survive. Lose that one. Second down and nine, and a play fake to Enos McQuarrie. Waits, fires left side, complete. Beat the linebacker that time for a Nittany Lion first down at the 39-yard line. Fields, the receiver, the young man from Philadelphia coming on. Likes that sequence right there. And again, a play fake, and McCurry sprints right, throws, wall diving, beautiful catch at the 45-yard line. Tikus Pettigrew out of Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Well, again, McQuarrie now, this time, he's going to be on the move after the play fake to Enos. The rollout, and this is a good throw on the run, but this is a great catch by Tikus Pettigrew. 16-yard gain there, and as he hit the ground, he had to grab the ball. He's off to a good start, three for three. Second and seven, slot to the wide side. McCurry sprints in the back That's the way it is around here. Third down and 18. Straight back McCurry. Fires down the middle and it is cut at the 35, 34. First down, Nittany Lions. And they bail it out with Cucho Brown, the tight end, also from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. This is a great catch by Cucho Brown as he gets into the secondary behind Donnell Thompson. And a lot of confidence shown by Mike McQuarrie. Operates and Jura Vicious in motion. Goes over to the short side. And Enos runs in that direction. He's got a corner. Curtis Enos hurdles forward. 12 yards. The backs are split. McQuarrie's throwing. Uh, end zone, Jura Vicious touchdown. Penn State. Penn State regains the lead. 20-yard touchdown reception by Joe Jurevicius. That's a great job of forcing the cornerback to respect the fade pattern, and the throw by McQuarrie was right on the numbers. After two early fumbles, they give up only a field goal, and then McQuarrie drives the Nittany Lions to the go-ahead touchdown. 7-3. We'll be right Second there. Carl McCullough, you saw a picture of him coming off the sideline. He has replaced Kane. There is his first carry. And Brandon Short, number 43. Remarkable, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? That many children. You looked at Mom, Francis. Charles is dead. He prefers to watch on television, but... Uh, Charles, and I Jason know Collins is the hero position here. I think Francis may be the hero. This is great pressure. Second sack of the day, first by Chris Snyder. Second and he may have to 12 turn. for that Penn State offense. <laughs> McQuarrie, straight back. Receivers covered, but there's an alley. And McQuarrie, just short of the first down, whacked at the... <laughs> And it's Enos straight ahead for the first down on this play. Their only touchdown came on a pass from McQuarrie to Jura Vicious. And throw it. They've got Enos as a swing man. They look downfield, however, and it's snared at the 45-yard line. A first down on the reception by Jura Vicious. I'm in motion now, directly behind McQuarrie, and then cut back. It's over to the wide side. Enos searches daylight, gets to the outside. A senior. Third down and three at McQuarrie. Got him as a player back if he wants it. Doesn't look at his direction. Back wide open, Jervis. How could they leave him that wide open? Inside the 15 yard line. There he is in the slot moving. And it's a straight drop back pass by McQuarrie. But that's just really a senior experience there is Jervis just took his time weaved his way through the secondary and then after the uh, catch wasn't quite satisfied thought he could pick up a couple more yards Dante King the chase first down and 10 McQuarrie and the Nittany Lions are threatening again inside the 15 yard line with his first down and here is Enos to the Enos to the end zone Enos touchdown Penn State He's been working a bit, doesn't he, folks? You know, he's just running through tacklers. Good block by Stioli and Blick, and then just... So the Nittany Lions with a 14-3 lead. 
And this one is going to be taken in. So it's a first down for the Badgers near midfield. Remember that third down play as they start to run free with the big fella now. Or not, but McCulley is the running back, and Martin's the lead blocker on this short yardage play. And McCullough twists for the first down. Dane, the lone running back. Two wide outs to the left. Samuel fakes to Dane. Fires right side. Picked off. Nelson grabbed it at the eight-yard line. Penn State's ball on the turnover. A great grab by linebacker Nelson. Great drive by Wisconsin. Number 44 is Jim Nelson looking at the tight end red slap. And it looked like if Nelson didn't get that ball, then Chino Prater was going to be right there. Second down and 10. McQuarrie on a quick count back by the goal line. Steps away from Burke and completes it to Enos. Runs free. Enos powers to the one-yard line on that reception before Demetrius Brown can bring him down. Well, that great job by McQuarrie avoiding the sack here and finding number 39 right over the middle. This is a 100-yard dash straight up the middle. Very little wavering by Enos. Here at Beaver Stadium on a Saturday, chilly, more than 90,000 on hand. Penn State with a chance to advance to the Alliance Bowl rotation, which could bring them down to who knows, New Orleans and the Sugar Bowl. Back out to Tempe. Joe Vicious will come back in that direction, giving them extra blocking muscle if they want it. McCurry in deep trouble on the blitz. Gonna go down in a hole. Merritt back deep. High punt. Merritt is hit. He should have signaled for the fair catch, but they're going to give him the penalty on the play. They did not. You got to give, give him those two yards. We see this almost every Saturday now. Here's Merritt. Watch number 11, Arrington, right here. And he is clearly within that two yard range. And on the blitz that time, second down and 10. Samuel won't have enough time to get this one off. down 15 for Samuel and the Badgers. Collins comes off the block again. They cannot handle him that time. Too much from Aaron Collins. The senior outside. This time line. number six coming against Carl McCullough and McCullough shows he's no pass blocker either. That looked like it might have been a face mask. Penalty. 35 seconds. And Stempke whacks one under pressure. Out of bounds, and it will be marked at the 30-yard line. And the Lawrence Phillips situation and everything. 23 seconds here. McQuarry backfires. Fields got it out of bounds inside the 45. Getting close, Dan, to that opportunity for a last-second field goal. Having a dream day for his final day here at Beaver Stadium. This is his best throw of the afternoon. Right on the money on the corner route to Shoppy Field. Ryan Leaf. As the Cougars ahead of Washington, we are told, 14-7. So all the details coming up. Last play of the half here. McQuarrie gets time. Fires the Hail Mary toward the end zone. It's up for a jump ball. And he's got it. Touchdown, Penn State. Joe Jurovicius, his second touchdown of the first half. A second remaining. And Penn State strikes. Oh, you're going good, Joe Pye. You're going good, partner. You know, we talked about the advantage that Wisconsin had in their tall receivers. Joe Juravicius is six foot five, working against Dante King, who's 5'10, and Jason Doring, and just a great catch and a great throw for Penn State. So the 42 the Nittany Lions will take a 21-3 lead to the locker room because of this catch by Joe Juravicious. And you gotta wonder what Wisconsin is thinking about. There are only two defensive backs in the end zone, whereas Penn State had three receivers. And the tallest and most talented of them made the grab. Huntley, a yard deep. Spins at the 15 and whack. Mike Samuel, Badgers at the line. 
It's a back in Dane's hands, and he gets about a yard. Underneath the Dane's incomplete, and the Badger up the middle, picked up. Short, almost as soon as he took that for the offensive line give Samuel enough protection there it is underneath got it Merritt but short of the first down and Martin who is now offset there is Dane will they use him or will they search elsewhere Martin's in motion they're going to throw over to incomplete the Nittany Lions take over as the gamble fails Simmons the intended receiver on that play Jim Great Nelson football game here. His last one in Beaver Stadium. Under center for the Nittany Lions. Curtis Enos is his tailback, and he offsets the fullback now to offer him some protection if they want to come to the right, and they do. Enos whips the first one and breaks free. 40, 45. Back across the 30-yard line. Curtis Enos still going. Touchdown. Curtis Enos takes it the distance for the Nittany Lions. 78 yards. The thing that happens is Tom Burke takes himself out of the play by stunning inside. Then Demetrius Brown can't make the tackle. But this is the most impressive thing. Dante King's got the angle, but he doesn't have the strength to take down big number 39. And it opens up a 25-point lead. Could this be his last game ever in Beaver Stadium? Will he go to the NFL next year? Stay tuned. His name is Curtis Enos. And to excel academically. No one from Michigan insulted him. Into the middle and stuffed again by and Joe doesn't think he'll quite get it done, but he thinks that in the future, one year, Curtis really will still did. come and get the degree, which is important to the family the sack and down because of Courtney Brown's effort coming off the block number 86 did the job they're not a catch-up team they want to run the ball stuff it down the field but uh, pass blocking you can see Chris McIntosh have trouble with the great spin move there by Courtney Brown four wideouts as Wisconsin attempts to play catch-up but Samuel not being given much time Receivers covered. Courtney Brown coming backside. Got him. Still right here. Father in the stands. Mitchell has checked in as the running back. That's Cordell Mitchell, who has replaced Curtis Enos. Let's check in on that Enos Dane comparison. Enos with 137 yards and the big one, of course, for the touchdown. He has scored twice. Dane will pass 100 yards, but he's averaging 4.7 to Enos' 8.6 today. Yeah, good good, 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 good. Pettigrew's the motion receiver. Play fake. McQuarrie got him. I'll tell you, how about this for being on the money? Mike McQuarrie with another completion. You taught him how, didn't you? Pops right to back up quarterback all these years. Just hoping to get a chance and finally got it as a senior. Got him again. Touchdown, Penn State. Joe Nastasi, a senior from Woodbury, oh, New Jersey. Goodness. Shell shocked on the Wisconsin sideline. Well, a 28 yarder this time for McQuarrie. And he's only thrown one in completion all day. And we really 35 3. A career day. He's 16 of 17. 269 yards and three touchdowns. Two to Jurovicious and one now to Nastasi. What a day from McQuarrie. Timeout. <laughs> First of all. First down and 10. What a way to celebrate the birthday of son, eh? And Dane, over 100 yards on the day, pounds for another eight. The uh, quickest meeting I think I've ever had. Uh, close to the best he is, let me tell you, my friend. First down and 10. 
Samuel keeps it, and uh, another first down for the Badger. Is really that, tight. Is that what huh? that is? I thought that was your indigestion. Fake it down. Fake, fake by fake. Samuel. Going deep, and he's got Simmons at the five-yard line. Offensive line. Dane in there with Martin. Martin goes in motion. Samuel to throw on fourth down. Sprints right. Covered, blocked, incomplete. Nittany Lions ball. The defense stands tall again. Ascari, this is a long, slow developing rollout. And watch number 18, Adams, come up on the quarterback and stuff this one right off his hand. Boy, talk about a great play by a freshman. That's one right there. Second down for the Badgers. Dane cuts back to the 33 for the Badgers. Samuel for the first down. Nice looking little play. You would think this would be the great Dane, so watch number 33. It is, and he does it. Pushed here today. Just overshadowed by the offensive performance on the part of the Nittany Lions. Curtis Enos, well over 100, and McQuarrie with an unbelievable afternoon. Touchdown, late call by the line judge. And McCullough, not to be denied, took it into the end zone. But certainly hope so. <laughs> Here's the running back is Chris. 35-10. Complete. Sam Crenshaw, the wide receiver, takes it. Paterno actually yanked McQuarrie after those two incompletions, Brent. Dawkins out of bounds at the 32-yard line. So the Thrifty Car Rental Post Game Show coming up. John Saunders and Todd Blackley will fill you in on everything that is going on out west. Get you right up to date with the uh, Pac-10. And of course, everyone's thoughts and prayers here go to the young Wisconsin receiver Hayes, who was taken off the field with a uh, neck injury. And we certainly hope that uh, Donald Hayes is going to be fine and a quick and speedy recovery for him. Wish him nothing but the best. 14 seconds to go, and this one's over. Good luck. 35-10, Penn State beats Wisconsin. Joe Paterno, victory number 298. If he can win against Michigan State and then capture the bowl game, it would be 300 victories for Joe Pa. What a career.